Hey, it's Clan. This will be a video chart on ticker symbol DKNG. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. I'm not sure what I mean by 30 minute. I do offer an explanation video at that link. Well, the price is truly battling with this showdown area. What do I mean by the showdown area? Well, this will mean a little bit more to those of you that have watched the past videos I've done. But if you haven't, as a quick little kind of catch up here, been talking about this area right around 5350 over and over again um, as that area of resistance. And you can see that today. Like I said, the price had quite a bit of history with it. Problem was, it was kind of the annoying type of history where the price would actually be able to break above that red line, but the price was never able to actually just build any sort of momentum. So the good news is, is that it's not a question of, you know, can the price break above that red line? Yeah, it's, it, it can definitely break above it. Happened several times today. The big question mark going forward is, can the price actually stay above it? Can the price actually build more momentum after it gets back above that area? And that'll be the, the main question to watch moving forward. And rightfully so. So that's going to be the level that, and, and the, really the dynamic that lots and lots of people are watching. And I make that comment because when lots of people are watching the same thing and wondering the same thing, Call it a self fulfilling prophecy, call it whatever you want. It can certainly produce some very dynamic movements. And that's going to be the level that, I mean, every breakout player and their brother's uncle is going to be watching this general area here, wondering can the price finally build some additional momentum. Now, on the flip side of things, if the price cannot quite hold up and it does pull back, then the couple levels you would want to watch from the, the support side of things are first off, that purple line there, the 50 period moving average, which you can see now has crossed up above that other green line that I've talked about in the past. But that'll be the initial level to keep an eye on. In the event, though, the uh, the price falls below the purple line, the next key area to watch would be down here right around the 49.25-ish area, give or take, uh, as that would be the next level of support. But all in all, definitely, like I said, the most pressing uh, you know question moving forward is, can the price finally get the break and then continue to build momentum? Let's see how it closes out the week on Friday. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm gonna to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.